Systemic racism is deeply rooted in institutions that perpetrate and, uh, and allow racism to go on. Uh, what we heard coming from the commissioner of the RCMP was an acknowledgement that that institution, amongst others, and more broadly our justice system that you spoke of, uh, has to improve. And there has to be a level of acceptance if we're going to make those necessary improvements. It's a, it's a difficult, awkward, but necessary conversation if we're going to get to that better place. And, and it will only happen over time. This is isn't going to be uh, some magic approach that will allow it to happen quickly. It's going to happen in the private sector and it's going to happen in the public sector when there is a deep-seated commitment to getting there. Other than Bill C-21, which I believe is, is discriminatory, I'm not aware of any other specific law which treats people differently based on the color of their skin or, or their country of origin. Now, that doesn't mean that there's different that there's different outcomes in, for example, our justice system. And, and Dr. Lewis came up with some, some good examples of that. So when we're talking about, you know, indigenous people who are more likely to be convicted and receive longer sentences and so on, there is no specific law that says convict them more often, give them longer sentences. It has to do with the person the jury or the, or, the, or the person sitting behind the bench. I think we owe it to Canada to make sure we remain the best country in the world and we stamp out uh, any instances of racism, unfairness, discrimination and have a commitment to that. I've tried to have a commitment to that uh, as a public official and that's, there's got to be a zero tolerance approach and I will have that approach. Yes, I believe that we have to look at the outcomes of certain systems, and that tells you whether or not there is systemic racism. Many people misinterpret what systemic racism is, and so many people think that, oh, Canadians are not racist, and, and the majority of Canadians are not racist, but that is not the marker that we use to define whether or not there's systemic racism. These are tacit, implicit uh, practices that lead to unequal outcomes, and so we know that in certain institutions um, that these outcomes are there. And we've had systemic racism in Canada. For example, there was a, a point in time where francophones um, were being converted and trying to be forced to, to speak English. And so that is something that's inherent in the system. And, you know, uh, in Quebec, people are still not being represented in, in their language of choice. Now, that is not systemic racism per se, but it is a form of discrimination. And so we have to look at the outcomes rather than the individual intent.